Hello, my fellow limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. How you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? How are things going? Hmm? Are we busy getting what we want? Are we busy standing in the decision to be the new version of self so we can get whatever the hell we want? You better all have just said yes to that. So let's get busy. Let's get busy today. So I'm not sure what the title is, but we are going to talk about how I got my specific person to change literally overnight. I don't know why I've never made this video. I mean, I have talked about it in live streams. I've definitely talked about it in my channel membership, but why I never made a video for my YouTube, I don't know. So I'm going to talk about it now. So before I jump in, let's do the basic bitch. If you need help, figuring out what's going on between a you and your manifestation. Please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the drop box below. They're in the screens. It just went by. I have two channel memberships on this lovely platform. I go live with the Exclusive Lives coaching group every single Tuesday evening around 9.30 p.m.-ish. Eastern Standard Time and with the hot seat slash group coaching membership, I go live with them every single Friday around 9 a.m. ish Eastern Standard Time. If you join the hot seat group, that group gives you access to both memberships, to both. So it's worth it. That, that one's worth it, I'm just going to say. Um, I have TikTok, I have Instagram. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and come back and see me. Clearly, if you haven't figured it out, my name is Kimberly. We talk about getting what we want over here. Okay, so let's get into it. So if you're new here, if you if you never knew anything, I do have my specific person. I'm in a an amazing, loving, fulfilling, committed relationship with my dude. And, you know, I share as much as I can about my love life, you know, within reason, with some semblance of privacy. But for the most part... Um, I've shared a lot of my ups and downs along the way on this journey. And in the beginnings of my manifestation journey, I wasn't that great in the love department. I wasn't that great. Love was a tough category for me. I never really thought that I would ever experience a real love you know, relationship, meaning where someone could just show up and choose me. I never believed that, that was a possibility. I never believed that I would be with a man that could make me feel unconditionally loved by him and, you know, feeling like I'm his top priority and literally his actions match his words. I had, I have only ever had a one other relationship that was just about as close as my current relationship is. And it was my first one ever. And it was, uh, I was 15 years old. It was my high school sweetheart, sweetheart. That was the longest relationship I'd ever been in. It was a 10 year relationship, but I haven't had success since then until now. And that is because of the law of assumption. Okay. Just going to make that clear. But in the beginnings of my journey, <laughs> You know, when I was manifesting love, I had manifested uh, SP from, you know, not knowing him, meaning I was manifesting a brand new love. And this was like my first real manifestation within the law of assumption. And I had scripted to manifest this person. And unfortunately, because I wasn't changing self, I also manifested two solo vacations with this person. So that wasn't fun. It was super triggering and upsetting. And, you know, I thought my life was over. I was going to die. thought I wasn't going to ever be able to get him back. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't often talk about the first breakup, that first solo vacation, because essentially I learned nothing. It was very short. I got him or I manifested him back very quickly. And, you know, I learned nothing. I'm just going to word it like that. I learned nothing. I went right back to old behaviors. So a few months later is when I manifested the second solo vacation. And in that solo vacation, that one felt horrible. I think right now, this is literally why a lot of you who have been around my channel for a bit, 
why you resonate with me because I experienced and probably have thought the exact thought that's, that you're currently thinking if you're in your own solo vacation. So if there's anybody who understands pain, <laughs> the fear of not being able to get your person back, the fear of maybe manifesting is nothing but a bunch of bullshit, the fear of what if we really can't manifest a specific person, all of it, all of it crossed my mind uh, uh, as well as, well, maybe manifesting is real, but it's only real for those who, you know, pretty much anybody other than me. That, that was me. Full on panic, almost angry, not almost, I was, I was angry at manifesting, I was manifesting community. I was so upset, heartbroken, devastated, and really struggled daily to get out of that state. But the magic of that solo vacation or that breakup was that's what led me to go back, start over reading Neville Goddard. Now, I'm embarrassed to tell you that I had already read Neville's books, including lectures, more than once. And I still didn't comprehend states of consciousness or what it meant to embody the state, get into the state of the wish fulfilled. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. But during that solo vacation, that's when I went back to reading Neville. And finally, I had my light bulb moment. I understood what he meant by states of consciousness. It's literally just who you are being, who you are being. And yeah, it changed the game for me, changed my life, and I manifested my specific person back. And when SP first came back, I can uh, tell you he was not his best version. He was not. He was really cold and distant, and I consistently felt like he was pushing me back. Um, it was awful. <laughs> I was upset. Like, I already was coming from the place of crying and being sad every single day because I was in the solo vacation. But then getting him back and him not not changing much at all, if anything, yes, we were back together, but it almost felt like he was worse. Like, he wasn't telling me he loved me. All the, th the, the things that you want to hear in a relationship. I wasn't getting any of that. It, and it really upset me. And I struggled. I struggled. And I also found, even though I understood states of consciousness and I was actively, you know, trying to embody the state of me having that loving, fulfilling, committed relationship, you know, I was efforting to get into that state, which I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to force your way into a state. It's more of a calmed walking to get yourself in. I'm not going to force. And when he came back and I had to deal with him daily, I was constantly kicked out of the state and triggered and upset. And I would let him control my whole day. I would let him control my day. I would let him control my mood. And the poor dude didn't even know it, to be honest. He didn't even know what was going on. It was I was keeping it all up here. Um, so I reached a day that I, I feel like it was my breakdown day. Like I couldn't take another minute of it, another phone call of him not saying, I love you. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take the cold behavior. I was done. Like I was mentally done. I wanted it to stop. I wanted it to stop, but I couldn't get my eyes off of it. My I was so heavily attached to my 3D and that's why I bring it up. Listen, you want to foolproof your manifestation? You want to guarantee that manifestation? Come in, get yourself fucking detached from your 3D. We'll talk more about that in a moment. So I reached a breaking point day. And I'm like, I, I cannot do this anymore. I'm fucking miserable. If anything, I feel worse now that he's back than I did when I was in solo vacation. I was just at the, I am done. I am done. I don't want to lose you, but I can't take much more of this. I can't take much more of this. I'm, it's, I'm miserable. I am fucking miserable. And I don't want to do this anymore. I either want my goddamn relationship back and I want him showing up right or I don't know, maybe I'll move on to somebody else. I mean, I questioned everything. So I, you know, I thought about it. And I'm like, I don't want to move on. I, I want him. I, and 
I'm a stubborn bitch. And if I want something, I fucking want it. I don't want to have to take second best. I don't want to have to change my mind. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with deciding you want a different specific person. You know, sometimes we find people not as attractive as much anymore. <laughs> Things happen. And when they do, there's nothing wrong with that. However, I wasn't ready to find somebody else. I wanted this. I wanted to conquer it. And that sounds like shit, but I did. I wanted to conquer this. I wanted to get so, it. So I reached the place where I'm going to really mean it when I say get my hands out of the 3D. I'm going to do it. What do I have to lose? Right? So uh, like I just said, I'm going to take his calls. I'm going to text back. I'm not going to be a bitch. I'm not going to be cold. I'm not going to be distant. I am just not going to participate in the 3D any longer. I am not going to get triggered if he's still cold. Not going to do it. If he doesn't say I love you, if that didn't come out, I don't care. I'm not going to let it bother me anymore. I'm going to choose to see it for what it is. And what is it? It's the manifestation of who I was being. Maybe not in that moment, but previously, yeah, that was a clear cut, perfect manifestation of who I was being. So I, I couldn't question it. I wasn't shocked. You know, it hurt. It was painful. Just like I know hot and cold behavior is fucking painful if you're experiencing it. But if you're honest with yourself, you know why it's happening. You know where your mind is. There's no getting around with this. There's no such thing as you deciding to be the version of yourself that's having the manifestation and you sticking to that. And if you fall out, you go right back. There's no such thing as your 3D not validating and matching that. Your 3D is the validation of what you are doing, of who you're being, period. And mine was too. So from that moment on, I'm like, okay, you know, hey, I'm going to be, I'm going to be just myself. I'm still going to be loving, but I'm not allowing that 3D in any way, shape or form to throw me off any longer. And I meant it and I meant it with conviction. And it was my emotional charge behind that conviction, that decision. I know that's why it worked. I didn't understand it then, right? I didn't understand it then, but I know that now because I was fucking serious. Now, what I don't mean is I wasn't stifling my emotions. I wasn't pretending things aren't bothering me. I just decided, why am I letting it bother me? I know what it is. I know why he's showing up this way. And I know it will change. I've already manifested him back. I've already got him back. I just need to, you know, <laughs> perfect the version. So I put all the focus on my state, on my state. Now, back then I wasn't calling it the version of self who has a manifestation. I was calling it my state. So I focused on that. Was I perfect? No. Did I fall out of the state? Yes. Did I give a shit? No. I would walk my way back calmly. I am deciding that I'm going to conquer this. This is important to me. I want to experience it. And I'm not going to live afraid of my 3D any longer because life is miserable when we allow the 3D to throw us around. You know, it's not fun living like that. And that's also not manifesting. In other words, if you are so easily thrown out and, and losing your shit because SP isn't showing up right, what are you doing? What is it manifesting only when you're having a good day? That's not how this works. Honestly, and deep down, you know that. Well, I did too. Yeah, I was still doing it in the past. So like I said about like, I, I was good. Like this was like first thing in the morning of I'm done with this shit. And it was probably because I got a, if I remember correctly, it was like a basic bitch morning message and it triggered me. Like it had always been triggering me. It was just a morning, morning. And I, you know, I would actually think that was his voice when he would text me like that. Ugh. And I got upset by it. I'm like, all right, I'm done. I'm done. So for the rest of the day, I was, nope. I am not allowing myself to wallow in victim state anymore. I care more about getting this manifestation than I do feeling sorry for myself. Because feeling sorry for myself and wallowing and blaming and looking at him and saying, you know, you're doing this to me wasn't getting me anywhere. It wasn't getting me my manifestation. If anything, it made things worse. 
So that was it. The rest of the day, I stood in conviction. What do I think it would feel like if he was showing up loving? What do I think that would feel like? Back then, my responses, I don't know them word for word, right? Because this was a few years ago. But I'm, I, in, in speaking of it now, well, I would think it would feel good. It would feel good. I would feel calm. I would feel relaxed. I would be in a comfortable knowing that, oh my God, I did this. I'm the one manifesting this. And I'm, I'm getting to experience what it feels like to be loved, to be chosen. So to me, it would just feel good. So I didn't put the pressure on myself to fake feeling good when, you know, I, I, I never ever have done anything like that on this journey. I don't pretend to have feelings that I'm not having, right? My God, how many background changes? I have to be 100% clear. I did not put the pressure of being 100% perfect in this moment, right? I didn't do that. I just made it more of like a goal of, I'm gonna get through today. I'm gonna get through today where I'm not letting this 3D kick me out anymore. I'm not gonna do it. There is no point in being upset all day long over a text message and there's no point being upset all day long because he's not showing up the way I want. I believe in manifestation. I have enough faith in it that I know this will work. If I get to a more favorable state, he has to change. So I'm choosing to believe that he is his best version now. And that's where I'm staying. And if any thoughts came up, I'm going to be honest. I, I remember thinking, holy shit, I'm not having many terrible thoughts that day. Like I made it through that day pretty good. I was pretty proud of myself because, you know, let's use logic for a minute. If you know why things are the way they are in the 3D, what is the point of letting it upset you day after day after day, right? Now, could I always think like that? No, I was upset nearly every day in that solo vacation. So if you're not there yet, it's okay. You're gonna get here. You are. You're gonna get to the point where you realize there's just no point in staying upset. I'm not saying you can't have a reaction. I'm not saying you can't have your emotional moment. I'm saying it It was just really on my mind and in my face at that time that why am I letting this ruin my whole day so I can keep creating more of this shit from him? No, I want the best version of him and that's it. So I'm getting through the day. I'm getting through the day. And I did successfully. And I am telling you, literally the next day, a full 24 hours later, that man was a new man. And I mean a new man. The I love yous were back. The loving, you know, just just the loving version of him was back. And it was back like, I remember feeling like a sense of relief. Like, I just did that. I just did that. And I knew he still existed. I knew that version of him was there. And I got him back. And it just felt Oh my God, I felt on top of the world. And you can do this too. Decide today that there's no point to stay upset and triggered every time your specific person isn't showing up the way you want. If you're experiencing hot and cold behavior, you've got to really ask yourself, who do you really believe you are? Who are you truly being day after day after day? Who are you being? If you're being someone that's constantly thrown around in the 3D because things aren't the way you want them yet, you've got to ask yourself why. Why is it so easy for you to be upset, to get triggered? Like I said, this is not a message of you can never get upset, you can never have a bad day, or you can't react, you can't have an emotional moment. I don't mean any of that. I'm saying if it's all the damn time, if it's all the time, or every time your specific person shows up in a way you're unhappy with, if you're allowing that to throw you out of your manifestation game, you've got to ask yourself why. And I'm telling you, it's because you're either believing that manifesting, manifesting doesn't work, or I'm not going to be able to change SP, this isn't working for me, it works for everybody else, anything like that. You know deep down you are. 
or you don't think you're worthy or deserving of a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship. You can do this. Decide today that you're going to set yourself like a goal. I'm going to get through today and not wallow in circumstances. I'm going to get through the day. And if you make it through the day, awesome. Let's go to the next day. It's not about I have to maintain a particular state all day long. What matters is the returning to that state or returning to the version of you that's having the manifestation. But it's also getting yourself into the place of breaking the habit of easily being thrown out of your states, easily being triggered and seeing the 3D as the real true reality. You're breaking the habit of doing that. And the easier that gets for, for you, A, it's be, you're becoming more detached from the 3D, which is a powerful place to be up here. It, I'm telling you, it's super powerful. I made it a point to get myself into a place of, I allow myself my moment, right? If something ups, shows up and upsets me, I allow myself the moment. But then I'm done and I'm going back to a more favorable state. I don't put the pressure of, oh, I got to get in the wish fulfilled. I don't do that to myself. But I also ask myself, who are you being right now? Are you being old Kim who lived a miserable existence? Or, if you, or are you being the new Kim who's getting what she wants? So ask yourself, wh who are you being? Who are you truly being? Let today be the day where you stop letting the 3D control you. You decide to be the version of you that's having your manifestation. Ask yourself the question, what do you think it would feel like if you were living your dream life? And decide to be that version of yourself. Just be it. Just embody it. Just decide, I'm going to live as if I already have everything I'm manifesting. Because it's already done. It's already created. So I know I'm inevitably going to have it. So let me live my life like it's already here because technically it is. So that's how I did it. In 24 hours, that man changed and I was pumped. I was pumped. It works. Manifestation is very, very real. Take your fucking power back. Take your power back. Get determined. I'm telling you, it's that emotional charge behind standing in conviction of your decision. It's life-changing. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow.